Okay, welcome to this lecture. Introduction to basic Git with GitHub. So in this lecture we're gonna uh, we're gonna cover how to create your repository and add collaborators to it. Also how to install Git on your computer and clone your repository that you created before. Uh, we are also gonna discuss how to use different Git commands. And finally we state all commands in one slide. So first you go to GitHub and you need an account. Here is my account and you click new repository. It's under the plus sign. Then you fill in the information for the um, for the repository. And I suggest that you use your student code as well as the course name. For example, DT1180 underscore and 1DV600 for the course 1DV600. Uh, write a short description, perhaps student repository for 1db600 and then you either set the repository to public or private if you can. You should check the initialize this repository with a readme file and you add a git ignore for the programming language you're going to use. So for example if you're going to use Java you select Java, if you're going to use Node then you select Node. This makes sure that files that are not supposed to be in a uh, GitHub repository does not end up in the GitHub repository. Finally, uh, for these assignments, you probably should not have any license uh, so that you have the rights and only you have the rights to your work. So you select no license. Then you go uh, to settings and uh, then you click collaborators and then you add your tutor instructors as collaborators of your repository. If you have a private repository, this is especially important so that the tutor instructors can access your repository and yeah. Uh, who your tutor instructions are depends on the course, but if in case you're taking the course for me, it's DN Talen. Yeah. Then you need to install git on your computer. Uh, you can check if you have git. I'm gonna just going to show the terminal version of this or command line tool version of this. So you write git uh, space underscore um, dash dash version uh, to see if you have git installed already. So you can see up here on the right I've written that and I get that I have uh, git version 2.17.1 if you don't have git installed, then you install that in Ubuntu, you write sudo apt get install git. On Mac, you should install Xcode with command line tools. And on Windows, you install git bash. You can find these on the links here. Uh, I've not tried to install on Mac or Windows, but it should be straightforward. Then, when you have installed it, check that you have it installed by opening a command prompt or terminal and write git under git space dash dash version mm, yeah okay uh, next now that we have git installed on our computer we can clone our repository that means that we get a copy of the repository on github in, on our local machine so you move to your project folder folder so on Linux I write CD and underscore and then just programming it's my programming project folder and then I clone the GitHub repository by copying the GitHub repository link. And you, I press clone or download, and then I just copy the link. And then I run git clone and repository uh, link. So you can see that for me it's git clone and then the repository link. Now I the, the I have downloaded all the files by, by that command and then I just inspect those files so you can see that I, wrote, that I write ls minus la on Linux here and you can see that I have uh, the files that we've seen on the github repository the readme.md file and also the git ignore file but there is also a folder called dot git and this folder should never be touched you should never touch that yourself that is the settings file for the git system um, if you're using windows and you want to list files in a command prompt you write there okay now we can do some changes so we open up the readme.md file in your text editor or your integrated development environment 
and you do some changes. I added my student ID and my student full name and I just save that file as is and then I go back to the command prompt and write git status. And as you can see now we see that we are on the branch master. We are up to date with the current version of origin master but we have some changes that are not yet staged for commits. We're going to talk more about this later. So we can see that the readme.md file is modified and it also suggests some commands that I can use. So we're going to do those. First we're going to do an add and then we're going to do a commit. So uh, the readme.md file is changed and in order to save that change in a commit we add it to the commit. So you write git and then add and then the name of the files you want to add. Uh, after that you can write git status again uh, and you can see the output here. So after git add uh, previously the readme.md file was modified and read and when you have added it it becomes modified and green and that means that it's staged for you um, for your commit so you can uh, it's a, a part of the commit and after that you uh, finalize the commit by writing git commit minus m minus m is for a message and you must have a message for this and then you write something useful like added name information to the readme md file so that when you inspect your git history you can you can find commits that are important to you. When you've done that, you can see that it added uh, one fi file was changed in this commit. You can have several uh, commits in. Uh, you can have several files in one commit. When we've done it, that now the um, we have only the commit saved on our computer. So we want to save that or upload that or push that to GitHub. Uh, so we synchronize our local repository with the github repository and we write git and then push and then origin and origin is the the github repository and then the master branch of that and in order to do that you need to enter your github username and password when requested so you do that and when you've done that you can inspect your changes on the github website and now you should see that the changes have been um, altering the files. You need to reload your Git, GitHub website and then you should see your your changes in the readme file directly uh, rendered on, on GitHub website. Okay, uh, you probably noticed that you needed to write your username and password and you don't want to do that all the time so you could save those credentials by writing the command git config credential dot helper uh, and then store and the next time you do a git push um, region master then you save your credentials so you don't need to input those again note that this is not a really safe way to do this it's just a simple way uh, since passwords are stored on a, on a file and in an open file or an open format um, I've introduced a link here how to make things safer by using SSH. Um, so we added files, we committed files, and then we pushed those files to the GitHub repository. Um, in the previous command, we just added one file at a time. Now I just want to show you how to add more files. So if you have a source folder, you write git add source and then the star represents all the files in that folder. Um, I would suggest that you after you added something you look at the git status of it so that all the files you want to add to one commit is in the commit. Um, okay so now we're gonna now we have uh, added and committed and pushed things to github but other developers could also push things to github to our same repository or you're pushing things from another computer to github so now let's look at how to get things back from github so to try this out you create a file on github so you click on create new file and then you name it source uh, slash main or source main js or something like that I've just created a java file and then I added some content and then I pressed commit new file. 
and now that was stored on github and now we want to sync that with our local um, local repository and then we write git pull origin master and origin was the github repository and master was the master branch of that so then you synchronize or download the changes so you can see that we've downloaded the main java new version and there were some insertions there compared to the version we had on our computer and yeah so um, now you know how to push things to github and pull things back if you have some changes that it, you really don't like you then you should not add and commit those instead you can like write git stash uh, to revert back all files to the la latest commit and if you then regret that you um, reverted back to the old version of the files you can write git stash pop to get the changes back and finally an overview over all the commands so you clone the repository by writing git clone and then you needed the url to your repository and you can check the status of changed added or removed files by writing git status i recommend to do that before you push things and before you commit things and you can add files by git add file name or perhaps git add minus big a and a dot this dot means every file in the folder and this is adds all files and even new files to, to the commit and when you have a commit you write git commit and minus m and then a message i've forgotten this on this slide and you want to store commits on the repository you write git push origin master and then you pull things from the repository with the git pull origin master and finally you can git stash and git stash pop thank you